Coast Coast News Stories of Service, sponsored by Duval Motor Company. In today's Stories of Service, a big honor for one of our local World War II veterans, in fact, one of my favorite veterans who turned 100 years old not too long ago. She just got back from an amazing trip. All the day long, whether rain or shine, she's a part of the assembly line. She's making history, working for victory. Rosie, the Riveter keeps a sharp lookout for sabotage. Sitting up there on the fuselage, our little Frank and Bill. Well, then the men can do Rosie, the Riveter. <laughs> Jesse Dunbar was one of nine veterans to be honored at the grand opening of a new movie at the World War II Museum in New Orleans on Veterans Day. This was all made possible through the Soaring Valor Program. The Gary Sinise Foundation is working to preserve the stories of our nation's heroes and to bring the remaining World War II veterans to visit the museum that honors their service. Mrs. Dunbar served in the United States Navy as a WAVE in the 1940s. WAVE stands for Women Accepted for Volunteer Emergency Service. She repaired aircraft instruments for the fighter planes. Mrs. Dunbar was also honored at a Jags game recently. And don't let her age fool you, she is still very active. And I was honored to go to her 100th birthday party in July. And some more good news. Ms. Dunbar will soon be featured in a book about the women of World War II. The author reached out to me after I first aired her story, and I'm told the book will be out by May. Remember, if you have a story of service to share, just email us at storiesofservice at firstcoastnews.com. Once again, that's storiesofservice at firstcoastnews.com. I'm Anthony Austin.